cell technology is an emerging technology. Um, it's a simple chemical makeup of a cell. It lacks the complexity of a, um, a human cell. And it's made artificially in the lab. Uh, it consists of a couple of chemicals mixed together, which creates a natural force of attractions. And those natural forces of attractions uh, self-assembles and creates um, a material that has uh, behaviours like a living um, cell. But it doesn't have any DNA. That's one thing to clear up. It lacks uh, any inherent information as well at this point in time. So there is not as many ethical implications involved. It's at an experimental stage at this moment. It's just made in the labs and scientists are just exploring uh, the technology at this stage. So what my job, you could say, as a designer, my role as a designer, was to try to distill that information, highlight the characteristics and behaviours of this technology and foresee a potential product, an application for it. Because of its characteristics and its behaviours, there's a lot of uh, potential applications for it because it's uh, reconfigurable, it adapts, um, it can change to the current activity to the user, um, it can respond to heat, pressure um, and time. So with all these listed characteristics and behaviours, it has a multitude of uh, applications and one of them I'm showcasing today is the Amoeba Trainer. So it's a reconfigurable trainer that adapts to the individual's foot as they run and will inflate or deflate or shift itself to aid the runner. It's predicted that this technology could be in production and in manufacturing within 2050. So it's very much future forecasting at this stage.